Yeah, so what do you think? When God. Do you receive God's gift? What, so do you think? Is that what? I'm confused. Isn't that the same as do you unwrap? Unwrap Jesus. <laughs> well, yes, in a way. You want to know that inside it was a pretty good present, pretty cool present. Uh, would you want to open it to see what was inside? Spiritually, I'm wrapping the meaning of Christmas. Do you think that's what we do, or do you think we just leave no, it unwrapped and we don't go into it enough? Yes, we don't go into it enough. What's in here? He wants to work with us yeah. like, to create yeah. a better world and peace and less conflict. And my, my family's split, like half of them are really religious and yeah. really likes thinking about what his birthday and all his birthday. Yeah, 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 like thinking about that and half of my family are just like, well, you know, let's get the presents unwrapped then nip down the pub, so... For lots of people it's really important for them and as long as they have a strong faith and they believe in that, then that's great for them. For me, it's not the same. I mean, it's there as a thing for family, a time for giving and I'm really thinking of other people who are less fortunate for you. I think sometimes it's good just to take stock and think about those things. What is your typical Christmas day? We don't have stockings, it's so bad, it's the worst thing. <laughs> and these old like socks and my nanny used to wear, they like stink of yeah. stuff and they're like, <laughs> it's, like so horrible and then go and I open our presents and I'm too tired my sister comes in and wakes me up at 6.30. I do believe in it but you just don't think of it when it comes to today. You just yeah. think of all your presents. I don't, I don't believe in God. I do. Well, to be honest with you, I don't really think about God that much over Christmas than I should. Do you think we unwrap the meaning of Christmas? Oh, no. No, I think we unwrap the presents. Like, we care more about the presents than we do about the meaning of it. Yeah, we the don't meaning think of Christmas. About it. Christmas, no. you don't really think about no. things like Christ, that kind of thing. <laughs> we just think of presents. Yeah, and like <laughs> decorations. Yeah. Tea! Tree! <laughs> So why do you think we don't unwrap the meaning of Christmas? Because everyone gets, uh, they think the meaning of Christmas is all like new stuff's coming out so they don't just, like the Jesus part is just blocked out of their minds. So. People get too selfish or greedy, they're all presents that I don't really, personally I'm not religious so I don't really know much about it so I think normally people just block it out. They're a bit like scared about what it could be, they're, like not sure because it's uh, too easy not to. They're just involved in all the physical things that are happening around the world. And, and, and presence and just being good and happy with people, which is great, but I think they probably forget exactly what's happening. The, in modern society today, there's so much, you know, about Christmas, sort of, um, like Christmas trees, opening presents, spending time with family, that um, people forget, you know, that the whole reason why we are here to celebrate Christmas is it's a Christian, um, belief that Jesus was born and therefore we should be celebrating it, hence the Christ in Christmas. Really we kind of forget how it's about when Jesus came to the earth and God sent him and he, yeah, and he was our king and he still is. I like devoted my life to the living for Jesus and stuff and I don't, I would definitely consider myself a Christian. It's about God's, God's gift to us and just, just a time of remembrance of what, like, what he's done in my life, definitely I do. Christmas Day I like to think about. Do you know the real meaning of it? Jesus was born and like in the stable. He died in the house in the major. And Jesus died for us. So. No, but he was born on Christmas. Yeah, no, but he died for us. I thought he was born and dying. Why did he die for us? So, um, so we could have freedom and like, so we could have a good life, you know? Because I do believe in the whole message of the Christmas story, that God's with us every day of the year and uh, we can celebrate just knowing him every day and uh, I celebrate Christmas, I have a lot of fun and family as you probably all do but um, I don't just religiously turn up at a church and do my bit and forget about God for the rest of the year. I try and think about God most days of the week actually. And uh, I believe Jesus came so that we could have that opportunity to uh, be at peace with God, to be God's friends again and to have that place in heaven one day. Hello, Mr. Tibbetts. Hello, sorry. Do you think we really need Christ at Christmas? Um, not just at Christmas. We really need Christ full stop. It's kind of like asking the question, do we need God? Um, some may not believe in him, but that doesn't mean 
he doesn't exist, and if he does, then the whole existence of everything depends on him. And Jesus is the Son of God, so we need Jesus all the time. Okay. So what are your beliefs at Christmas time? Whilst we have all the fun and the turkey and the presents and all of that sort of stuff, which is right and proper to do and it's great fun, the real meaning behind Christmas is celebration of a birthday and that birthday 2,000 years ago of Jesus Christ. Well, I think peace is the sort of word for Christmas, isn't it? Peace on earth, goodwill to all men. It's where we sort of really think at the meaning of why Jesus came into the world to bring peace, to bring reconciliation with God. We all know the Christmas story. Does that have any relevance in today's society? I think it does because people still go to church and stuff, you know. Nowadays we've kind of lost the meaning, so sort of, I mean we just sort of celebrate Christmas. Yeah. And no one really sort of pays attention to why. Emmanuel means God with us. And it means that God doesn't just sit back there and want to just judge us for what we've done wrong, but wants to come into our lives and make a change. And for me, 30 years ago, it meant just opening myself up to what God wanted to do for me in Jesus. So I do every day sort of think, I want to unwrap this. I want to understand it and I want to receive whatever God's got for me. And it's not always black and white. And I got lots of questions, but I have found this, this, this Emmanuel, this God with us, this relationship, which we all want relationships, this relationship with your maker just puts everything in perspective.